All right, hey guys, welcome to the video. If you're new here, my name is Curtis, and today we're gonna to be talking about date night fragrances. Now, this video is a bit special because this is a tagged video. So I was tagged by uh, two of my friends, Selly over at the channel, Selly Knows It All, and by Charm City over at the channel, The Fragrance Connoisseurs. So uh, I'm responding to this tag and so this is going to be a fun video to do. So I've gone through my gone through my collection and I've chosen five fragrances that, in my opinion, work perfect for a date night. So if you're curious to hear my thoughts and opinions about these fragrances, then let's go. All right, first up from the house of Jeroboam, we have Mixado. Yeah, so this one is a woody, ambery, and musky fragrance. You know, you definitely get a bit of uh, geranium in here, which also provides kind of like a, a rosiness or like a, a slight minty, aromatic quality. Um, but one thing I really enjoy about the musk in here, it's not like an animalic musk. It's very like smooth and almost kind of has like a creaminess to it in a way. That's just very, very alluring. And and sexy in my opinion. It's just a very intriguing fra fragrance. However, I will say that it is extremely woody. And out of all the Jeroboam fragrances that I have in my collection, this is by far the woodiest fragrance. One thing that I also enjoy about this one is it does, this is an extra de parfum. So it does project, but it's not a beast mode fragrance by any means, but you do have a solid bubble around you. But the sillage on this one is gorgeous. And you know, if you're going on a date night, you don't want to be, you don't want to wear something that's overwhelming. You don't want to be shoving your fragrance in your partner's face, at least in my opinion. So you want to wear something that, you know, has kind of a, a moderate projection and, uh, but with a, a nice sillage. And that's what's going to be the head turner, right? You walk by, you pass by, you know, you give a hug and it's that sillage that's kind of, you know, just kind of lingering in the air. And I think that's the, that's the thing that I personally enjoy about uh, fragrances. I'm more kind of after the sillage versus the projection. But yeah, this is a fragrance that I feel is definitely a unisex fragrance, um, but I would say you're pushing more towards the masculine side of things. And you know, this is a perfect fragrance that if you're on a date, like in the fall, like what the season that we're in right now, this will work perfectly. But this is definitely for like an upscale uh, date, you know, an upscale gentleman. This is a perfect fragrance for that. So yeah, if you can, get yourself a sample of Mixado by Jeroboam. Next up from the house of Mayo Fushiuni, we have Little Song. Man, so this one is just a dark, mysterious, slightly haunting, very, very intriguing and sexy fragrance in my opinion. And what gives it that sexiness is the rose in here. You get that subtle rose that lasts throughout the life of the fragrance. And it's not like a jammy rose necessarily. It's more of kind of like a, a green type of rose in my opinion. But man, that rose combined with the tobacco, uh, vetiver, and the black coffee in here some of my favorite notes in perfumery just make this fragrance so alluring. I love this one and I love the experience of wearing this one from beginning to end. It's really that good. And this is another one that has like moderate projection, but a very, very nice, strong sillage. Um, so you know people are gonna catch whiffs you know, when you're walking by. Um, and that's something that I really enjoy. And the sillage on this one is gorgeous. So when this is one of those fragrances that take me on a journey, I enjoy this experience from beginning to end. And I hope that my the person that I'm with is also enjoying that journey that this fragrance is going to be taking them on. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very well-made, well-blended fragrance from the house. And man, I wish I would have discovered this one a lot sooner on my fragrance journey because I'm in love with this one. This fragrance is completely unisex, right down the middle. Uh, and it's perfect for those cooler temperatures, you know, fall, winter, and you could even pull this one off early spring, I think. But yeah, it's a great one. Definitely an evening fragrance, so it works perfect for date night. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Little Song by Mayo Fushiuni. Next up from the house of MFK, 
we have gentle fluidity silver all right so i had to kind of include a fresh on this list for my gentlemen that enjoy fresh fragrances um but this is a fragrance that of course it's a freshie but it has so much depth and character to it um that you can easily wear this one you know in those fall and winter temperatures as well as the spring and summer it's just an all-arounder it's extremely versatile and you can wear this one if you're going on a casual date or if you're going to a more dressed up kind of you know evening kind of luxury uh experience um type of date um this one will work a treat now this one has a strong blast of juniper berry um so it kind of gives off like a very dry gin and tonic type vibe but you also have some ambery notes in here which give it a very very subtle sweetness but all the while this fragrance remains extremely fresh and very crisp. It has a crispness about it that I really, really enjoy. And the wafts that you catch of this one in the air are just intoxicating. I love the wearing experience of this one. But what I will say about this one, uh, this one is quite strong. So I would say, you know, if you're going on a date, you might wanna, you know, it's up to you. You know how much you spray is you know your own preference so i'm not trying to tell you how much sprays you should do but in my opinion and from my own personal experience if i was going on a date with this fragrance i would do probably two sprays because i know that this fragrance does tend to project quite heavily it does fill a room and it's very long lasting uh, which is quite impressive for a fragrance like this um, so yeah, that's just what I would do uh, if I was going on a date and I was wearing this fragrance. But yeah, I love this fragrance. It's a very easy wear, easy reach. And like I said, it's just very versatile and you can wear it basically for any season, any occasion, but it works great for a date night if you're kind of looking for uh, more of a fresh type of vibe. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Gentle Fluidity Silver by MFK. All right, next up from the house of Laboratorio Olfativa, we have Neurotic. So this one is for the mysterious gentleman. When you wanna have a bit of mystery behind you, um, you know, you want people to wonder like, oh, who is this guy? This is the kind of fragrance to wear. So this one is a smoky, leathery, ambery fragrance. It's dark, mysterious, and just very intriguing in my opinion. And this one leans definitely a bit masculine. It's unisex, but definitely pushes more to the masculine side, in my opinion. Um, but man, this one is so good. And I remember the first time that I ever smelled this fragrance, my initial thought was like, oh, the Blue Beast from Amouage, inter Interlude Man. Um, now, I just wanna be clear, these two fragrances, Neurotic and Interlude Man, are worlds apart but there were aspects of this fragrance that kind of reminded me of Interlude Man. Um, but man, this one is such a sexy, and like I said, just very mysterious and intriguing wearing experience. Man, so you get a nice glass of red fruit, some saffron, some geranium, and then you also have those kind of leathery and ambery notes and a bit of smokiness in here that just combines for just something that's very daring yet at the same time sexy and also appealing so yeah it's just i don't know in my opinion it's the perfect package for a fragrance that you can wear on a date night maybe not a first date scenario but a date night with someone who you know you're comfortable with but when you want to come off and you know just have a different vibe about you this is definitely not in everyday wear type of fragrance this is a fragrance for a special occasion you know something like a date night when you're going somewhere but this is definitely more of an evening wear type of fragrance so if you're going on a date in the evening this is for evening wear a bit more upscale in my opinion um but yeah this is a great one and definitely one to check out and yeah laboratory olfativo is one of those fragrance houses that's very very underrated so yeah check them out they have some stunners and what I will also like to add about this fragrance is, yeah, so this one's perfume by one of my favorite perfumers, Cecile Sorokin. Yeah, enough said. She just does amazing work. Um, but I also want to touch on the projection and siage of this fragrance. This one does push out 
quite heavily. So you, you know, if you're going to be somewhere, um, again, kind of the same comment I said before was, you know, you don't want to overwhelm with the fragrance. So in my opinion, when I wear this fragrance, it's two sprays, that's it. Because I know the power and strength of this one and how it performs on my skin personally. You'll have to test things out on your skin to see how uh, this fragrance works for you. But on my skin, it's two sprays, that's all I need. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Neurotic by Laboratorio Olfativo. All right guys, and finally from the house of Amouage, we have Overture Woman. Man, so this one has to be a top runner for the most sexy in my entire fragrance collection. This one is just very sweet, juicy, boozy. You have a bit of rose in here, which is almost providing like a, a soapy-like freshness about it, but which is, it's just giving it so much depth, character, and complexity. Oh my God, this one, is so sexy to smell in the air. It's crazy. In the sea trail that this one leaves, game over, I'm telling you. It's game over for anyone that you are gonna be with when you're wearing this fragrance. It's that good, I'm telling you. You know, I've smelled Overture Man and Overture Woman, obviously. I don't own Overture Man, but I did used to have a sample of that fragrance. That is, a gorgeous fragrance, there's no doubt about that. Um, but when it came down to the two, I just preferred Overture Woman uh, a bit more over Overture Man, just because I felt, for, for me personally, um, I just enjoyed the vibe of Overture Woman a bit better, and I felt like it was a bit easier to wear just for myself, uh, just my own preference. But I do really, really also enjoy Overture Man extremely extremely well-made fragrances there and this one is very unisex leaning right down the middle an extremely sensual and romantic fragrance and you know that could be because of the rose in here that kind of is making it feel that way to me but man this one is a stunner you guys i'm telling you don't be afraid of the homages that come in the like woman style bottles or say woman on them you know uh, this one doesn't say Overture. This one doesn't say Woman on it, but typically what Amouage used to do is when they would make them in these style bottles, they were kind of catering more towards women. But man, I'm telling you, a lot of the fragrances in these style bottles almost smell better than the, you know, a lot of times they do smell better than the, than the men's version. And I don't know, again, it's all just personal preference, but man, this is a stunning, stunning fragrance. Um, and uh, this is another one where you don't need a lot of sprays. When I wear this one, I do two sprays, one on each side of the neck, and that's all you need. You know, like I said before many times on the channel, like I just, like, I, I don't like forcing, pushing my fragrance in your face. Uh, you know, I like when you're able to catch subtle whiffs of uh, the fragrance that I'm wearing, and I'm giving you that type of experience. I believe that's a bit more you know, when you're catching those sub subtle whiffs, it's kind of bringing you in like, oh, hey, you know, what's this, what's this guy wearing? Um, that's what I like. Um, so I do two sprays, one on each side of the neck and it works a treat for me. But yeah, this is a stunner and definitely one to check out from the brand. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Overture Woman by Amouage. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. And let me know down in the comments section, what fragrances would you wear uh, on a date night? Uh, I'd love to hear about them. And yeah, I just want to give another thanks to my man, Charm City over at the Fragrance Connoisseur and also Selly over at the channel, Selly Knows It All. Uh, again, I'll put their information in the description below. Thanks a bunch for the tag. This was a fun video to do. Well, I hope you guys are staying healthy and well, and I'll see you in the next video.